Welcome to my Upwork profile. Today we are going to discuss how to set up Upwork profiles. But before we start, I want to show you how your profile will show up on search results on Upwork. Let's go on to this new page. I have already searched for my name here and as you can see, uh, it appears uh, in this way, my profile picture, uh, my title, statistics, and a few sentences from my overview, as well as my skill list is shown here. So uh, you should take a note that this uh, information shown up here, that's showing up here, is very important. So you should pay extra attention when you are setting your title, your overview, and skill set. Let's go back to my profile and start exploring it. The first thing you can see is my picture. Um, it should be clear with a smiley face and that should look nice to clients. And I would agree that it could be improved. Uh, you can take a picture that's more formal, but it doesn't have to be, and you don't have to be wearing suits or mm, formal dress for that. Moving on, uh, we can see that there is a 100% job success score. This one will appear uh, once you complete jobs on Upwork with good feedback. And according to Upwork statistics, uh, almost 90% of freelancers will get this badge when they complete five jobs. Um, moving on. We can see that this is my title shown up here. It's short, precise, and it focuses on the areas. And this attracts clients that are looking for front-end developer with React and Next.js skills. And here is my hourly rate. Um, as you can see, $25 is shown to the client, but what I actually get is $20 per hour because there is a 20% Upwork fee and once you pass um, $500 with one of your clients, the fee will be 10%. So you should make sure that you do not set very high uh, hourly rates when you are first comer to Upwork because um, it will be high risk for clients to hire um, cost like expensive freelancers with any jobs without jobs so i would suggest setting your uh, hourly rate at 10 or 10 to 20 dollars um, when i first started my rate was actually 10 dollars per hour and what i was receiving receiving was eight dollars per hour af after upwork fees and as you can see, I have gradually increased it as I have completed many jobs. And now I'm receiving offers, uh, even if my rate is, uh, is a bit higher than when I started. Okay, then uh, here you can see um, two of the profiles. There is an all work. This is a general profile that every freelancer will have and there is a specialized profile. Um, two of them is the same for me because I have only one front-end development work but I have seen that many uh, Upwork freelancers do lots of types of jobs like translating, front-end development design and they have, will have multiple uh, specialized accounts. And here you can see the statistics. Um, if you are a free uh, premium Upwork user, you can hide your statistics. Um, I'm not, that's why it's shown here. And then there is a video introduction. There should have been actually a video introduction, but I haven't added it yet. I'm planning to because I know that video introductions can really uh, make a big difference to your client if they are not sure about hiring you. Um, and some other information about me like language skills, uh, verification and education. 
Okay, moving on, we can see that there is an overview and this was what I was talking about. You should really focus on first two sentences of your profile so that it will look really good to your client and it should attract your client. Instead of talking about yourself or any general information, uh, you should start off by your explain by showing your experience and uh, you can just um, list out your skills and so on. Uh, following that, I have included the, uh, my services that I provide as well as the skills that I have. Moving on. You can see that there is a work history right here. It displays two types of jobs, completed jobs and the jobs that are in progress. Um, completed jobs will have public feedback most of the time and you should make sure that you will get only five stars. When you are first coming to Upwork, you will have this section empty and that's not a problem. What you should really focus on is getting good reviews once you start getting jobs on Upwork. Um, because actually this part is what attracts other cli Upwork clients to hire you. Because they can see that others are giving you good feedback that you have the necessary skills and good communication, good customer service. So they are more prone to hire you when you have nice uh, reviews and feedbacks. Moving on. As a beginner, as I said, you will have this section, uh, the work history, completely empty. But what you can do to improve your chances of getting a job is to include portfolio section. This showcases your uh, skills and you can include your last jobs, uh, projects in this section. For example, when I was a student, I was working on this small project and I have linked it to my portfolio once I entered Upwork. It's just a small showcase of a uh, photo filter and it looks good to me. And it's really nice and there is a link that the client can click on and try this out. Besides that, uh, when you start working on Upwork, you can add your projects into your uh, portfolio. This is one of my projects that I take as uh, that I took on Upwork and I, that, I, that I completed and I added it to my portfolio section with detailed information about the tasks. I explained everything, what happened on the project, what my role was and what I did, um, what, how I contributed to the project. I guess the internet connection is a little bit slow here. Yeah, this was actually a uh, application with Google Maps that tracked geolocation of a GPS tracker and showed it on the map using Earth engine uh, layers. This one is not loading. Okay, I think you got a little bit information about it and we will be focusing on how to fill your portfolio in another detailed video as well. Next thing is very important. This is your skill section. Uh, this is this one is very important because it helps you to uh, appear on search because when a client searches for a JavaScript developer, I will show up in the list because I have this JavaScript skill. And I also have this certified by uh, Upwork. This is a, I have passed several certification tests on JavaScript front-end development, and I got, got this certification from Upwork. And then like Next.js, when they are looking for a Next.js uh, developer, I will again show up. So I made sure that I uh, will show up on the searches that 
I want to work on like I want to work on projects with HTML, Tailwind, SAS, CSS, Google Maps, and so on. Um, moving on, there is another section that you can fill when you are a beginner and showcase your current uh, projects, your experience. Here you can include your projects and it's a very nice way to show your client what you can really uh, give them, what services you provide. There is also a testimonial section where you can request for a testimonial from your uh, client that's outside Upwork. And we have the certifications. Uh, here you can add certifications that are related to your specialty. I have also filled in my employment history as well as other experiences. Uh, these are important parts. You should fill uh, as much, fill all of them as possible because uh, only then you will get a 100 full profile which uh, is recommended by Upwork. And you can, you may get a rising talent badge if you are new to Upwork and you have this 100% ready profile. Um, as before moving on, I would like to give you a small tip on uh, that can improve your up, um, chances of getting a job on Upwork. That's a new feature introduced by Upwork. This is called availability status. It shows up right here. You can just uh, click on it and you can turn on this feature and it costs six connects per week. And when this one is uh, on, when you turn it on, you will start uh, I will just show you how it looks. Yeah, it looks like this and hel helps the uh, clients to no know that you are available to work right now and you can start uh, right away. And it also sets you apart from other freelancers that are on the market. Because um, uh, as a new beginner to Upwork, most probably you will get jobs that clients are looking for fast implementation. My first job was also like that and they just hired me because I was ready and available right at that time. And here you can see the public view of your profile when you set up everything and click on that icon you can see it uh, from the eyes of your clients 